Well, here's a little story making the rounds via bounding into comics by, via <laughs> the TARDIS zone, which, uh, more times than not, the rumors the TARDIS zone talks about turns out to, uh, have some, uh, truth to them. And that's the way these rumors go. You get a little tidbit here and there, and, uh, maybe one element of it wasn't true, but overall it was, or you misunderstood it, or however. But, um... Before uh, the previous season came, there was a lot of different rumors that were borne out, especially uh, the business of Timeless Child and all that, which everyone kind of guessed, even with when they said Timeless Child in the, uh, the uh, what was it, 11th uh, season. And uh, But uh, uh, Nerd Roddick, Gary Beekler, said he had heard that, uh, yeah, they're going to retcon it where <laughs> the Doctor had always been a woman in some form or fashion. And that's pretty much what they did. So, uh, they did introduce this secret doctor we never knew about. Uh, and this messes up canon. Uh, if it would appears to be that they're going to insinuate that she uh, was either pre Hartnell or somewhere uh, now in between Hartnell and Troughton. That's one story. <laughs> Uh, w one of the other theories was that she was in between Troughton and uh, Pertwee and was, you know, supposed to be a secret agent for uh, the uh, Time Lords and then uh, welched on the deal and they had to go and capture her and eventually they do and she's turned into P the Pertwee at that point and that was how that was going to work. Considering you did not see the transformation of Troughton into Pertwee's Doctor, I suppose you could sort of shoehorn that in there. Uh, but it doesn't really work there either, uh, especially when you're considering the song screwdriver and all that. Uh, the, so the other one, but the other one's even worse uh, because you actually did and the, what little footage of the 10th Planet's final episode exists. There is the regeneration scene. Uh, yeah, there's no gap there in between the two men, so <laughs> I, I don't think that would... The best uh, uh, solution would be that she is a future doctor and had they mapped this out well and that Jody was in for three seasons and here comes her third and she finishes that and then Joe Martin comes in to replace her as the new doctor and that's how you could handle that I have said many a times in my reviews of Doctor Who and whatnot that I always thought it would be a cool thing to introduce uh, the new doctor within the current doctors uh, you know final uh, season a little earlier than usual uh, and kind of keep it as eager and a mystery. Who is this person? And you find out, oh, oh, it was the doctor all along and that kind of thing. Um, you know, just to kind of put a little interesting spin on it or whatnot. But um, I, what was, I always thought it was going to be a, a male character. But, <laughs> but anyway, I, it's, but you would leave the overall canon alone with that. And so Joe Martin doctor dr ruth <laughs> would be uh, a future incarnation of the doctor uh and to make matters simple she would just be the next one and um yeah you do a series with her or if she's not willing to do commit to a full series do a couple of specials uh which would probably be cheaper to do and then uh, find her successor and there you go and uh, the, the canon and background is fine no didn't want to do that wanted to just mess everything up and not even think it through and and destroy it so <laughs> what the hell now this new rumor that there will be yet a third <laughs> female doctor that nobody knew about and at what point in time did she come into the picture i don't know it, it who cares <laughs> Uh, so, new Doctor Who rumor claims the show will introduce a new LGBTQI... I thought there was an A there. Plus, but as long as you put the plus, you're safe. Because it, it, more letters get tacked on. So, so anyway, uh, Doctor... Uh, but uh, she will be uh, at least physically female. <laughs> but I don't know if she... Well, it'd be female but identifies and with Doctor Who you could have done something like that like if you had had Jody's doctor play you know similar to how Matt Smith played an old man in a young man's body whereas you have a man in a woman's body no not that way of course but that she would be kind of uncomfortable with it like it hadn't happened before you could have gotten all kind of interesting aspects there of course you would need an actor who can pull off something like that and well 
I don't think you do. Maybe Joe could, but I don't know about Jody. Uh, so anyway, um, this actress who I do recognize, I thought, oh yeah, she was uh, in, uh, well, apparently she was in The Blacklist, but I never watched that. But uh, yeah, she was in ER. So um, there she is. Uh, she, the, what's, uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, Parminder Kerr Negra, I guess. Uh, apologies, I'm not getting that right, but uh, we'll just say Parminder. So that's the rumor that she's already been cast uh, to play this role, and it'll probably be just, again, some super, superficial cameo appearance, very much like Timeless Childhood a child was with all those or timeless children as it was called with all those children who got no lines <laughs> um, but were there for the superficial virtue signaling that it was and so uh, that's the idea that she is going to be the secret doctor that will appear uh, and then probably never be seen again uh, just so Chibnall can say, oh, look, I got the first female doctor, the first black female doctor, and first black doctor ever, so how about that, huh? Isn't he a champ? And now he has a woman of Indian descent. So there you go. Oh, boy, is he really covering the bases, isn't he? Ah, uh, yes. And keep in mind, um, Jody is not the 13th doctor. She's the 1300th doctor. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. The whole thing is destroyed. So, well, there you go. I don't know if... I can't remember if T Tardison had specified that this will be revealed in the special or if this is something to be weaved in the uh, forthcoming uh, series, which will only be eight episodes. Uh, I, uh, but, um, boy, it, it, if they had any sense, they would address the... Uh, this whole timeless children stuff in the, uh, the special, but I, I don't think it will. Uh, I don't even think Jody's going to be in it all that much. I think she's going to be stuck in prison through most of it, <laughs> and uh, her fam have to uh, save the world from the Daleks. So, uh, and of course, Captain Jack. Uh, you know, just forget about Jody and move on. <laughs> Captain Jack and the crew. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, and so there you go. Yeah, new Daleks. All isn't that great? Um, so uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, a new Doctor. Isn't there something? Or, no, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Yeah. So I guess they want to do a three Doctors, and you think, wait, they already did that? No, these are the real three Doctors. <laughs> something like that. It doesn't matter. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends, yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below, yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.